Hi Taurus and welcome to your love tarot reading. We are going to take a look at what should your next move be and see um, what advice or guidance the tarot cards have for you. Now as always guys, these readings are general so please keep that in mind if you are for personal tarot reading with myself. Please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here in the show more section. Okay guys, this reading here is intended for Taurus Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross-watching as well. Okay, you have the Ten of Wands. The Six of Cups. The Ten of Cups. Wow, okay. And the Four of Wands. Okay, so you've got a lot of fire as well as water energy. Okay, some of you may be dealing with a fire sign here, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could also be dealing with a water energy, a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. Okay, so let's begin with the Ten of Wands here. And the Ten of Wands um, is telling you that you need to streamline something here. Um, Taurus, I feel like you are so close here to some sort of combination here with the um, appearance of the number 10 here. Um, but I also feel like there is something here that you're really overburdened with Taurus, some sort of energy that seems to be weighing you down, whether it's a mental, emotional or a physical energy. And therefore you need to learn to streamline or you need to learn to get help, perhaps even prioritize you or organize yourself and your priorities a little bit better. Um, there is some heaviness that's weighing you down. You need to drop that. If there are certain people in, around in your life who are emotional vampires here, um, you need to be able to remove those kind of individuals from your life. If you're in a relationship that is feeling a little bit more like work, or if you feel like you're the one who's constantly doing the work and you're the one who's constantly doing the heavy lifting in a relationship, well, you need to take a few steps back and you need to analyze and assess what is really going on. And why is it that you're the one that's carrying the weight of this relationship here as well? Some of you here, I feel like some of your burdens here, they can be physical from what I can see, from what the cards are telling me here, especially with the fire energy. But they're also quite spiritual, emotional, even mental here, um, Taurus. It's also clear that some of you are carrying around some extra baggage, okay? So your next move should be release of Release anything that is holding you, that's weighing you down. Or release anything that's, um, it feels heavy, okay? For those of you that are over applying, over extending yourself in romantic relationships, or any other for that matter, um, take a step back and disappear for a while, okay? Disappear for a while, because you'll notice a lot of things. You'll notice and you'll realize a lot of things that you wouldn't otherwise hear. Um... Sometimes you could also mean like letting go of a certain behavior or a certain um, pattern, like a characteristic, a pattern or an attitude you have as well. Okay. Um, now with the Six of Cups here, I'm seeing that some of you need to connect here uh, to your heart. You need to, I feel like you need to connect to your um, emotional core, Taurus. Some of you are, you're triggered by... You're triggered by old memories, which could explain that whole, you know, weighing you down factor or, you know, you carrying around extra baggage. Because some of you, I feel like you're triggered by old memories uh, could be linked to, these memories could be linked to trauma, past, past trauma here, um, past wounds, overwhelmment, um, anger, bitterness here, um, guilt here. So there's a need for you to connect to your higher connect with your higher self here connect to your emotional core and find out just just exactly what is uh what is this bothersome energy what is it that's weighing you down here um what memories are coming up and why so there's a need for you for a lot of you there's a need for you to re um you're going to have to revisit a past now some of you you're going to have to do this on your own because there's a reason why something isn't working out in a relationship because I feel like there is some sort of blockages which are stemming from the past here, Taurus. Perhaps, just to give you an example, some of you I feel like have been um, really broken hearted in the past and you've never really tru truly healed that pain. You might have gotten over the person and you might be completely over him or her, but that pain, um, that pain and certain 
emotions associated with the connection that still resides within you so i'm seeing that some of you need to be able to let go of some of that pain or you also need to go back to your past here go back revisit those memories here take a stroll down memory lane you might have to unpack and stay there for a few days as well taurus but i'm seeing that you might need to heal some sort of hurt because there is some sort of trauma or some sort of pain that I'm seeing is preventing you from moving forward. Now, for others of you, I feel like there's a romantic energy here, strong water or fire energy, as mentioned, um, that I feel like the two of you will have to revisit some past memories together. It's going to be a bit painful, but sometimes in order for you to move forward, you have to go back to the past. Sometimes um, there are lessons in the past which could very be the key, which could hold the key to us moving forward into the future. So some of you, your next move should be going back to the past, whether it's revisiting a certain memory, whether it's actually going back to some sort of childhood past. It could be like a, a premise, a, a, a location, a residence. Again, it could be something mental, spiritual. On whatever plane it resonates with you, there's a need for you to go back in order to move forward. Okay. And the next card, the Ten of Cups. Now, this is a powerful energy of connecting, okay? Connecting with your center, connecting with your emotional core, connecting with who you truly are, connecting with the people around you here. Um, this is like the one big happy family card, tarot um, card um, out of the entire deck, right? It's, it's this giant yes for all relationships and love. And it often predicts uh, like a fairy tale-esque, um, kind of happily ever after so for a lot of you I feel like in order to I feel like in order to come together with someone you really need to connect here um, and I'm seeing that you need to connect with this person emotionally on an emotional level um, some of you I feel like you need to align yourself up with this person or you need to align yourself up with this very thing because right now what's happening Taurus is you're not necessarily in harmony here with your environment nor are you in harmony with yourself or the people around you so there's a need or, or your romantic energy specifically there's a need for the two of you to connect on a vibrational and emotional frequency and you'll find that the energy will flow in abundance now the, the four of wands is a strong indication of reuniting here um it's it's a homecoming for some of you i feel like there's a need once again it's that message of connectedness is that a word? I think it may be. Um, there's uh, that need for you to connect with someone, okay? Whether it's connecting with them on an emotional level, on a spiritual, physical, on some sort of material level. But I'm seeing there's a need for you to come back together, okay? And it's only when you truly connect with someone on an emotional level that I feel like you'll be able to connect with this person on a physical or an intimate level here. Um... So I feel like your joy will only come really from the inside out. So I guess the big takeaway is here, Taurus, is that you need to start working on the inside out because eventually, essentially, your external world is a mirror. It's a complete reflection of your internal world. And some of you, I feel like, need to start looking inside out for, for your happiness and your bliss. And these are the messages I have for you guys. Thank you for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking, commenting, sharing. And please check out my other weekly love tarot content. Thanks guys for your support. Bye for now.